cherry lips and your eyes. She knows exactly how to tell the lies. Let's not do that. So, now we all know I can't sing. What I can do is to teach you the song Sugar by Robin Schulz, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, here it is. We start off on an A minor chord. In the A minor, we play like this. And then we play the fifth string, the second and the third. Check out the tap over here. And then we do a hammer-on. And the hammer-on is on the second string from fret one to fret number three. So it's... And definitely pay attention to the rhythm because that's very important in the song. If you've got trouble hammering on with your pinky, you can also try to hammer on with your ring finger, but then you have to hold down the uh, third string with your middle finger instead of your ring finger. So, because we don't play the fourth string, you can do that. But preferably use your pinky, because you train it anyway. And then we play an open A string again, and an open G string, the third string. And that is very convenient since we have to slide up to fret number 7. So we've got time to change from this position to that position. That was the first chord. The chord is an A minor, it's just a fiddle in A minor. So you can always use this kind of stuff in easy chords you play. If you play A minor you can always just add some notes to spice it up a little bit. Okay, so the next chord is an E minor chord. You all know it like this, I think, but he plays it over here. Because you hear him sliding down after the E minor, so you know he can be playing the chord over here. So, he plays this fret, and then we only play three notes. Fret 7 on the A string, fret 5 on the D string, and fret 7 on the D string. And the rhythm is like this. So, and you only have to play with your ring finger and your index finger. And then you slide down. And the hammer on is from fret 5 to fret number 7. So if you want to hammer on, just fret number 5 and play it. And then you press down the ring finger firmly at fret number 7. If you don't hear anything, try it more often. Hit it really fast. You don't have to hit it hard, so you don't have to press hard, but fast. Speed is essential. And you hit the E two times again. And then you slide down. And then we start to the, uh, and then we start at the C chord. It's just the beginning of the normal C chord. So this is a C chord. But now we play just the fifth and the fourth string of the C. So a C and an E. One. Just one, two, and. And then we slide up from C a whole note to, guess, the D. C, D. One note higher, you should know that. C, D. One, two, and three, four, and. And then we go back to the A minor chord, which plays a little bit differently. You play an A, and then fret number two on the third string. But play that fret with your index finger because we have to because we have to hammer on to fret number four with our ring finger. 
So it's A string, G string, and back to A string. One, two, and. And then a hammer on from fret two to four on the third beat. And then you play an A string open and a G string open again. Just the same as it the first chord. So let me play it a little bit slow for you guys so you can play along and eventually you have to build up speed. So So, and that is the song. He plays the riff throughout the whole song, so you should be able to play along the entire song from now. Good luck, I hope you, uh, you learned something today. Please don't judge me by my singing, but just uh, by my guitar playing, thank you. Um, if you like this video, please press the thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you've got questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you've got questions, tips, uh, suggestions, please let me know, I will check them out. Thank you, goodbye, have a nice day.